Koshat. Yeah. Where are we, man? We are at Trinity, the old Trinity Hospital that used to be Montclair Hospital before it was sold to Trinity. Okay. It's the hospital itself is gone, but the professional buildings are still standing. Um, they're building stuff out front. I think that's going to be apartments. Okay, so they're gentrifying this area too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there's not much time left to fly it. And me, I was, uh, I visited this hospital about six to eight times somewhere in my history of my life. In your transformation from mm. woman to man. Uh, they did a great job. Hats yeah, off to did. the surgeons. I know. <laughs> Are you going to chase me? You're a better chaser than, than I'll I am. I'll follow you wherever you want to go, Ken. Okay. I'm facing in the right direction. So we both have the O3 air unit. I'm flying on the V2 goggles and you're on the G2 goggles. Yeah. Just a quick note here. Unlike the original air unit, the O3 air unit will not record to the SD card on board in a low power state. As you can see here in the goggles, until you arm it, it's in a low powered state. So once you arm it, then you can start the record and it'll record in both the goggles and on board the O3 air unit. I didn't know this at the time, which is why you'll see goggle footage from my quad during this flight. Also, you'll notice a little bit of carbon fiber in the periphery of my footage because I installed this on a Skyliner HD. And Rotoriot assures me that they are coming up with a solution to bring the camera forward. I'll try to put a link in the description if it's available by the time of this video's posting. So tell me about viewing the O3 air unit on the goggles 2 versus the V2s. So on the V2 goggles, you're going to get 810 by 120. The 120 frames per second is really, really the nicest thing you can get uh -huh. because it's the highest refresh rate, which means you're going to also get the lowest latency. And as we all know, latency is the, the game, not resolution. Right. And so you're going to get 810 by 120 with V2 goggles. And on G2 goggles, you're going to get 1080 by 100. So you still that, follow me? I lost you for a second, but I'll find you again. I'm in the building. Oh, you're inside? Yeah. I'm going in the front door. What floor are you on? <laughs> First floor. Oh, okay. I'm going to come around here in the front to us. I want you to try to follow me. I mean. There you are. Not try, but you will. I'm going to go over here to this other building. But um, this on, is like only my fourth or fifth time flying it's with unreal, this setup. The, the it difference. is just amazing. Would you say it's a game changer, Dave? It is. I'm yeah. converting. Yeah. I'd say the only weakness of the O3 air unit is the low light performance. Mm -hmm. It takes a little bit longer for it to adjust into low light, but uh, and a little bit just uh, less sensitive in the dark, dark, darkness. But I was just going directly just into the sunlight, and just going even directly in the sun, the bright sun, the dynamic range is amazing. And you could put all these buildings in between us? Maybe. This is where people drop out of the sky, though. Where, where, where I am? Where yeah, we are right, right behind now? behind you. Okay. As you go up higher in the building, you'll get more and more concrete between you and it. Uh-huh. Is this and an open window or is it a screen? There's a couple open windows there. Go yeah, on in. Take a chance. <laughs> but I'm still getting great signal out here. I find yeah. the O3 goes a little bit further than the, the uh, Vista and the OG air unit at, at the same signal. So you'll go further before you get all broken up in Minecraft mode. And that's really important to me is more penetration. We, we all need the more penetration. Are you still in the building or are you following I'm me? right behind you. Okay. You're easy to spot with a bright LED lights from flyhighfpv.com. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! All right, we'll go in this, uh, in this tunnel a little bit. Yeah, go through the tunnel and hang a right. Can you go through all the way through the tunnel? No, you'll fail safe in there for sure. Well, I don't want to do that. And it's muddy. Turn right though, and you can go out the parking deck the other way. So go in the, in this door? Not in the door. Not, no. Oh, in here? Yep, that way. Okay. You just light the way with me, you little green bumblebee. <laughs> oh, oh shit. Branch, I see you. Oh, that was a branch. You're good. Did you get me heading it? I did. <laughs> Thanks. I wasn't super close. I was trying to avoid the tree. Well, I hit the tree. <laughs> I was just showing you where the tree was. By the way, they are dicks. Gosh, this is just such an immersive experience. 
Oh, yeah, I was getting a little glitchy. A little glitchy down here. This is pretty deep into the parking deck right now. Oh, lordy, 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 We're lordy. where your latency is going to suffer, too. Yeah, I'm getting that, I'm getting that anxiety I now. I got to get... 17 megabits, 9 megabits. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's, it's... Ten, Ken's taking it as far as he can. Are you going for a walk? No, nope. I just, I just I'm connected. Up. I'm pulling up and coming I out I disconnected. I thought I was, uh... Where's the drone retrieval unit? Put the... I can see it. Or did you disarm? You see me? I did disarm. I'm not connected. I bet if I walked over here. Now you're right side up. Are there any? Uh, I can see it. I'm right on you. Does that I'll walk mean, over there. Does that mean that the the G2 goggles don't have as much range? As probably, the yeah. Goggles? Yeah, probably. Because I've heard rumors of that too, and I'm I'm still flying right over top of him where he's down. Yeah. Now I'm at like eight, ten megabit. It's pretty low. But I, I can still see just fine. I'll walk over there and reconnect, but before I do, are Oops. there any... Oh, I just saw RX loss. Oh, did you? Yeah, I'm good, though. It was just a little micro fail safe. I are saw there any uh, 70. aftermarket options for the goggles, too? Yep. There are some cheap Chinese foam out, and I keep waiting for Newbie Drone to come out with some new foam. No, uh, not the foam. I'm talking about the antennas for the goggles, too. They should have some soon. It's just going to take a minute. They use a different type of connection. They use MCX instead of MMCX, and it's not really a standard for FPV, so it's going to take uh, Hugo at TrueRC a minute to get up to date and get the new ones. But there'll be options. The two on the top can just pull right out. Yeah, I was demonstrating that. I'm going to walk over closer and see if I can't reconnect. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you. Our cameraman sucks. Oh, sorry. I think our cameraman's stoned. <laughs> Other cameraman. Take a picture of the cameraman. What do you think? His eyelids are kind of heavy. Why? 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 Why do I list the help of stone cameraman? I was watching him go. <laughs> <laughs> I think we found the tunnel. We have. I had a clue because it says tunnel entrance. Well, that's creepy. Hey, shh, shh. What is it? Oh, that was an echo of our footprints. <laughs> Footfalls. <laughs> that freaks me out. I'm putting a lot of building between me and the quad. It's just. Oof. <laughs> I mean, it's just, I can't, ugh. This is like my third time flying the O3 air unit. And yeah, Dave said you called him more giddy about it. Oh, I'm so giddy. <laughs> Seriously, coming in, gonna land under the wheelchair, under the wheelchair. Nah. <laughs>